do 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 Oh, Big Town <laughs> Improv is the podcast it's you're Big listening Town. to. <laughs> I, I, that was very well rehearsed. Was, uh... Yeah, you could tell by how it did seem like we were trying to think of the words uh, as we were yeah, saying that was the them. Uh, new musical genre called... Uh... <laughs> Uh, the words fake. don't quite fit the meter. <laughs> yes. Very, very uh, controversial. Uh, yeah. But I think it's going to take off. Josh, how are you? I'm all right, Jesse. Uh, Jesse Moriarty, my friend, how are you? I'm doing just fine, Josh Pilch. I'm doing just <laughs> fine. What about you, the listener out there in uh, audio land? How are yeah. you doing? Yeah. That's sounds great. like That's yeah, good, good. Yeah. Uh, what's sounds like you're pretty good, but maybe you want a refresher. What's going to happen here? I mean, I, I I can only I can only provide you with such a refresher. Luckily, I wrote it on my hand today. Oh, Let's okay. The, oh dear, it's gotten smudged a bit. Um, <laughs> so in Port Woon. Um, okay, and Jesse, you, you probably could even sure. though that smudged. Sneeze. Shirt form. <laughs> uh, shirt form sneens uh, based on random words. Now, Jesse, I feel like even though the words were smudged, you could have just known what it actually said, which is that in the first part, we're going to do a montage of short scenes based on random words and the stories we tell uh, off of them. Uh, uh, see, this is no. the first time gotten smudged in since we began. But, yeah. Well, what's what's on your other hand? Is it describing the uh, second half? It does. Let, let me see. Um, uh, and use, use context clues this time. Yeah, all right, all right. So it says eggs, milk, shredded cheese, okay. uh, sandwich bread, cooking okay. bread. Um, cooking and, bread? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Well, I get one loaf of bread that I use for making sandwiches, and then a second loaf of bread that I use for cooking, like what? making egg, eggs uh, in a basket and that sort of thing. Oh, okay. You go through a lot of bread. Is this genuine? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's, we're learning about Jesse's... Uh... Uh, Feel free uh, to use that in the montage if you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, second part of the improv, um, <laughs> we are going to do a long scene um, with multiple characters, uh, locations, and it's going to take the whole second part, and it's going to be pretty spectacular, uh, I've heard from Josh. Um, yes, yes. You, you said you've heard from me? Yes. Yeah, I told you. That's the <laughs> second half today. It's going to be killer. I'm <laughs> More really hoping... Words. He's not stringing me along. So yeah. that's what we've got for the listener today, Josh. What I've got for you. And yes. um, I want to know if you're, if you're ready for this, okay? Mm -hmm. Random words. Jesse, I've never been more ready in my life. Okay, look down at your hand. Huh? Uh, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote Whoa. there the book. Democratic Budget huh? Movie. Soak, heal, party, shatter, and norm. Oh. How, how did you do this, Jesse? I'll tell uh, you. Well, I'll try to ignore the fact that I've been, that my hand has been written on against my will. Uh, mm. A lot of politics words in there. Democratic budget movie. Soak, heal, party, shatter, and norm. Yes. Um, yeah. And did you ever do the thing where, or see the thing where, like you, can, where you shatter glass with the, with the tone? I saw it in science class one time. They, you know, they create the the resonant tone, and it uh, matches the resonance frequency of the glass and makes it shatter. I've only seen that in a cartoon with a a, a, di a big diva. Uh, the Aria. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but I did see something similar, which was um, 
So, so as you know, Jesse, I went to college for animation, but, and <laughs> I never talk about it. Uh, my first job out of college was actually in animation. I moved back to my hometown. And this person had opened an animation studio in my hometown, uh, which seemed like so fortuitous. And like, I got this job and I got my friends' uh, jobs there also. Uh, but like, slowly it became clear that this person, like, was not great at, uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't really know how to keep a business going. And so it was extremely volatile. Like we were constantly like, you know, a project we're working on. We're not doing that anymore. Shift to this. Uh, and that was also true about our work space. Uh, so I moved, I helped move that office so many times. <laughs> and uh, one of the times, um, we had this large glass table um, and I guess, so glass will respond to a tone and shatter. I guess glass will also respond to a, a, a large change in temperature. So <laughs> totally expecting to say like a hard surface. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes, <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it was very cold in the office and very hot outside. So, so also picture that we are like the couple of us who are helping, like mm -hmm. we're carrying these heavy things through the like hot, hot summer sun, like, you know, and, and seeing our job kind of crumble in front of us, like seeing the writing on the wall and then just, uh, as if to create a visual metaphor for what we were thinking, we were carrying this extremely heavy glass table and it just barely touches like uh the concrete on the ground just like tap and then just completely shatters <laughs> um that's uh that's uh at least you didn't have to move the table uh yeah not any more than that anyway <laughs> I did you had to like move it in just in small pieces to it <laughs> yeah I know that some two two words close together uh, that we've got here. We got budget and movie right after one another. Um, uh oh. Yes. Um, budget movie. Uh, yeah. I Just, used to. Okay. What's up? No. If uh, <laughs> I feel like we both might have material for this. Uh, yeah. We... Terms. <laughs> uh, I, we might. Yes. I was in, uh, I, I helped people film things, you know. Uh, me too. <laughs> I think uh, the circles we, we both moved in, like, uh, had people who move, who filmed um, things. Um, I remember once I was uh, nothing more than an extra in a uh, crowd of demons. We were just wow. supposed to like a, uh, a big crowd of demons who were cheering on the devil as he did a, uh, <laughs> a, a rock concert or something. Um, <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah. I actually have done the thing where, like, you are just a crowd extra in an actual, uh, like, uh, it was a sports TV show or sports movie or something. I never found out which one. Yeah. Uh, but they just needed you to fill up the, the bleachers and, like, cheer when they said cheer and kind of like be there for crowd shots of the thing and right. I mean, it's got snacks Lots <laughs> snacks josh that's a pretty good exchange that seems really fair i thought so i have a couple of friends who are in the <clears throat> the stadium that bane uh comes into in in uh the dark knight returns oh my gosh <laughs> yeah uh, it was scary for them i can imagine uh, budget movie. Um, I was I spent a lot of time in college uh, helping to film a movie called The Lion and the Unicorn. And Jesse, can you guess which titular character I played? Mm -hmm. Good question, Josh. Um, I always thought you had a bit of a unicorn countenance to you. Uh, yep, that's you got it right. <laughs> I mean, you do have that spiraling horn coming out of your forehead. 
Yeah, I think that actually probably helped uh, for my audition. Like, <laughs> the performance was right, but the, uh, yeah, the horn that I have really sold it. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm struggling to think of just one story about filming the Lion and the Unicorn. It's kind. Of, it's. Um, I think this the this director's vision was that it was going to be in the vein of like a Tim Burton, uh, Alice in Wonderland type thing, like a big, um, you know, creating a a weird macabre world of fantasy, but. Uh, literally everything that could go wrong went wrong. Um, the costume I wore, it was this extremely heavy uh, mask, unicorn mask that they had to strap uh, to my back to keep it up. And there were no eye holes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. And then I wore like a unitard and then my hooves were high heels with the heel taken off, uh, which... <laughs> was extremely uncomfortable. Um, this really would come into play like when we were filming in the middle of the woods uh, and he would he would say like, okay, say your line and then run as fast as you can. And I'd be like, no, I can't see anything. I don't have feet. Like, I can't <laughs> run. <laughs> um, oh, uh, oh just, indie filmmakers. Yeah. Oh, trying, to, trying to do stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, do you call that enough material, Josh? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. Well, um, let me see what's happening. Uh, according to my hand, coming up next is the Minx. Uh, okay. You know? Right. Now, Jesse, think think about the other episodes. We don't have Minx show up uh, in the middle of uh, of our show. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Obviously, what we have is monks. Oh, that must be these rogue men who are shuffling into the room. That's right. Wait a minute. What's that? The robes are suddenly tumbling over. It was full of minks. Jesse, you were you wrote the right note on that hand. Sable furred weasel like creatures are yeah. uh, loose in the studio, Josh. But it does look like they're getting together to do a chant of some kind. That's interesting. Well, oh, I hope that they're going to chant the name of the next segment. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they're like Pokemon. Yeah, they say the word mix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Harold, these seats are terrible. I can't see what's going on down in the field. Well, uh, 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 Jeffrey, I, I, uh, these are the tickets I can afford. And look, look, they're not so bad. I mean, uh, you can kind what of is tell. It, like, that it looks like the players are no longer on the field and a strange man in a mask is coming out. Yeah. No, that that can't be right. That this is a this is a baseball game. There's not going to be a man in a ma well. Oh, that must be that must be the umpire. Okay, uh, here you take a look. See if you can see what he seems to be just standing in the middle of the field and make, making a grand speech, gesticulating with his arms. Yeah, uh, I'm looking through the binoculars. I see, I don't know what all the hand signals mean. He's he's probably saying that someone uh, is out. Oh, hang on. They're putting him up on the Jumbotron here. Okay. Okay. Let's, and uh... the Batman will be destroyed. Uh, oh, that's uh, weird. Jeffrey, how are, where are they going to get their bats from then? Uh, that's a good question because, like, you need a Batman to, to go right. to the Batman. To give player, you right? your bat to, to play uh, baseball. It's an, it's an integral part. <laughs> All right. I, I, I will admit, I do feel like we're missing some of what's going on in this game from uh, our distance, but uh, it's really we'll, hard we'll, make... we'll pick it up. We'll catch on. Okay, wait, here comes someone else. It's like, it's like a little guy in a cape, and he's getting into uh, like a fight with the... Uh... Oh, no. Is this is part it... of the... 
Are they gonna? They should like get the the ref in there. That's clearly a foul. That's gotta be a foul, right? Like, yeah, they should get the baseball referee in there to help the umpire. Well, I mean, they have to have someone who protects the umpire when a strange man yeah. in the case attacks him. Yeah, yeah. This is although maybe this is a new rule. Could there be new like a a new way that this game is played? Maybe that's the other team's umpire. He's oh, wearing a he's mask, wearing, too. Yeah. yeah. Now, that you, now that you point that out, he's also wearing a mask. So I bet that's yeah. what it is. So maybe before the game starts, they have the empires duke it out. That makes a certain amount of sense, right? Yeah, like, okay. And I guess but, the winner is the one who goes first. Uh, that, that, that makes sense. But hang on. Now, now, why are all of the people down in the low bleachers uh, seem to be funneling out in a, in a big hurry? Uh, it's hard to say. They do seem to be like kind of uh, stamp- trampling over each other in yeah. a mad rush to get out. Oh, damn it. I bet they're like, they put like t shirts or something on sale in the lobby or something. Oh, man. Well, we'll never get there in time now. To no, get look t-shirts. at how many people are up ahead of us. Yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah. Okay, hang on. Look here. It looks like there's some like more like, like black clad <laughs> guys with swords are rappelling into the. Into the onto the field. And, yeah, you're uh, right. Okay, uh. now the other umpire, the other umpire is called in like a big black car. Um, does that happen okay. a lot? Okay. Because I've never been to this field, so I I don't know if this is like a thing about this field. Are you sure we're not like watching the uh, the the show, the pregame show, or something? No, is, no, I'm pretty sure it's the a baseball game. Oh, that's true. The bear, the mascot does sometimes drive around in a little car and shoot hoagies into the audience. Okay, uh, here he seems to be like running over those ninja dressed guys with. His, yeah, with his, could be just a, di- a slightly different thing. Um, oh, I do oh, hope oh, we oh, get oh. a hoagie. Well, look, look, the guy, oh. the guy in the, the first umpire, the guy in like the the, the mouth mask is hoisting up lo- what looks like some kind of cannon. Uh, on his shoulder, like you know, okay. kind of like a bazooka thing. Yeah. See and, there. See, this is why it's good to be in the upper levels. Everybody down there ran to get the t-shirts in the uh, in the uh, stands, but we're gonna get a t-shirt from this big cannon. They <clears throat> shot at the other side. Oh man, oh, and that looked like a big t-shirt too because it. Yeah, big. It yeah. Seems like it completely demolished the. Uh, Benches there, and I must uh, say, he probably like shot like three at once. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He did. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Think, that, that's the only really way to start getting tickets ahead of time. You know, like. Yeah, yeah it, it's true. It's true. Uh, oh, look! The one, like the umpire pulled the other umpire out of out of his car. So. Oh wow. And he never even got to shoot any t-shirts or hoagies or anything. I mean, he's this is pretty, holding... they're, they're really like competing for, for the audience's goodwill here. I have to yeah, say. yeah, definitely. <laughs> I hope the regular game starts soon. Uh, yeah. Okay, one of the umpires has just like thrown down a pellet of some kind and vanished in a, uh, in a pillar. <laughs> in a cloud. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, well, hey, you guys! <laughs> What are you doing up there? You gotta run! <laughs> We're never gonna make it to the t-shirt sale, man. They're all sold out by now. Come on. Are you crazy? You gotta run out of here! I get it's a good deal, man, but there's no way. Did you see how many people were ahead of us? Is this guy confused? Does he think that we're supposed to play the game? Is that why he's telling us to run? Well, you know... I actually don't see any of the players in the in the dugout. Are you sure? Oh. Hey, just... uh, he's gone. I think he was telling us to get on the field and play baseball. All right. Well, look. Okay. So look, the umpire, the both both of the umpires are standing around home, like just plugging each other. So I guess maybe that is the signal that they want like guest players. Ooh, we can okay. pull the pitch. That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, it would. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Glad we found these uniforms, Jeffrey. Hey, uh, Ups, we're here. We're ready to play. 
<laughs> now you see that your citizens will be the first victims of the League of Assassins? <laughs> Get out of here! You're you're in danger. What what what, what kind of what kind of pitch is he signaling there? You know? Yeah, uh, I don't know. They're not supposed to say it out loud. Uh, all right, I guess I'll pitch it to you. Um, uh, sounds good. We'll be on opposite teams. All yeah, right. Batter up. Anybody. Here we go. Okay. Um, <laughs> you two stop that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> what? I'm a little curious as to what they think is happening here. <laughs> We know what's happening up. All right, let's uh, let's throw the first. There it is. All right, it's not gonna be a curveball. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, it was a curveball. Out. <laughs> you are out. What are you doing, Bane? What's your game? Why are you calling this baseball game suddenly? Because he was clearly out on that last. <laughs> Well, what are you talking about anyway? That would have been the first strike, obviously. No, that was such a bad foul. I am declaring it out. <laughs> no, uh, that was a bad call. I'm throwing my hat onto the ground and I'm kicking dirt at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're out. What? You can't do this to me. <laughs> Ooh, this is... Pretentious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, some, some of these officials are real hotheads, but that's Man, what happens you guys... the old ball game. again, your aria brought uh, everyone to tears, and more importantly, all of their glasses to tiny shattered bits. Mm, you also don't know no intact glasses in the house. Quite certain, quite certain. Uh, <laughs> uh, excellent. I'm, uh, but, oh, Bernard, I feel mm, trapped. I feel there's no challenge anymore. Uh, oh, but uh, Henrietta, you're our finest um, soprano. Yes, but you only ever let me sing one song and then it's over because the fat lady sang. <laughs> uh, well, you said it, not me. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, what are you saying? You, you mean you mean that? Well, obviously your aria that you're known for shatters all of the glass in the in the uh, opera here. Uh, yeah. Are you saying perhaps we could add uh, another song to the performance that could shatter something else? <laughs> I'm saying that perhaps uh, people who want more for their ticket prices than to come in, hear me sing one song, and lose anything made of glass that they possess. I, I see what you're saying, Henrietta. Hmm. I've got an idea. Uh, uh, I'm going to prepare something special for tomorrow's performance. Yes, excellent. I'll leave it in your capable hands, Bernard. The following evening before the performance. All right, I got it all set up. Uh, I all of our opera fans are uh, are here, and they're they're ready for the latest performance by Henrietta Bernardini, uh, and they know that tonight, for the first time ever, one song. Uh, where you shatter all the glass, and then a second song 
where you shatter all of the wood in the building and then nothing else. Mm, it will be a challenge, Bernard. I've never matched the resonant frequency of wood before. <laughs> but and I understood what you wanted, right? <laughs> this is why this is what you thought would make the uh, show better. Well, it's just that uh, I've been doing a little bit of research, and most operas are lots of songs, hours long, really. And huh. this uh, Wikipedia article, Lord Opera, does not even mention shattering. Huh, really? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen here. Like... Uh, look here, according to the uh, playbill, this season I am performing single loud note that shatters things. But next right. season, you and I have gone to Philadelphia, this theater will be doing Swan Lake. Huh. Swan Lake? What does that shatter? It makes no mention of any shattering. Uh, that doesn't seem right. But, Henrietta, if it's what you want, perhaps I could make it so that this show will go on for hours. No, hold on there, Bernard. Uh -huh. I, are you planning to make the show go on for hours by continually carting in more and more glassware to shatter? No, no, that... I'm not going to make another mistake like that. I I uh, I fully understand what you want out of this. Uh, well, well, then let me do this show, and then you'll, you'll get me a proper opera, Bernard. Opera. I, I will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, wonderful. Very nice. <laughs> and now the second song. <laughs> oh, she's found it. <laughs> mm, she could be very deadly if she found the frequency of bone <laughs> or flesh. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I will just have to come back and see what she's got tomorrow. Indeed, indeed. Who could have suspected that uh, Henrietta Bernardini would come out with a second note? Incredible. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Henrietta, Henrietta, have you seen? Oh, Bernard. What have you, have you done it? I think I've done it. Look at the marquee. Henrietta Bernardini in... A hundred notes. A hundred notes. Uh, That's right. <laughs> and you and, make no mention of shattering. Uh, no, no, definitely not. Um, no mention of shattering at all. Um, uh, although. Uh, oh, what do you mean by that? Well, Bernard. I think our fans have come to start to expect uh, certain results here. So uh, I've sort of outlined a, kind of a, a guide of uh, what maybe you should try to target with each of your notes. Uh, yeah, let's see, take after, it. after wood, you're going to try to shatter all the, uh, all the uh, plastic. All right. But it seems like, as you get further down the list, you are running out of materials. Like, look, number 87 is delusions. <laughs> and there's a note that will shatter their delusions. Um, How will that work exactly? <laughs> look, did I misunderstand again? I thought this is what you wanted. But the only way to make an opera go on for hours is for there to be at least a hundred notes. And, you know, I worked hard trying to think of things to shatter with them. Uh, I suppose, uh, look at this, 99 is just wood again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, all right, I did my best, but what about a hundred? Pride. <laughs> yes. I, well, well, let. I admit that it will be a bit of a challenge. Uh, well, uh, who knows? Perhaps this list will get the better of Henrietta Bernardine. Okay, I, uh, I, I hope so. I hope I did the right thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please silence your cell phones now. Presenting the Sydney Opera House for the third night in a row, Henrietta Bernandini. All right, he's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, not, a, not everyone in the audience is Australian, but the majority <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> mm. Put all my little glasses on <laughs> the list. Number one. <laughs> Glass. Oh, oh right, good on you then. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Number two, wonder. Oh! Crikey, my boomerang! <laughs> and my wooden clogs! <laughs> I'm third generation. Moving right along. Number three, mm, skin. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Our greatest fears realized! <laughs> ah! In death, I cannot help but be impressed by the vocal range of this woman. <laughs> yes! Each one definitely a different note. Skin tears. <laughs> oh, he really got the first row with that one, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the splash zone. Yeah. <laughs> Moving along, uh, number seventy-three. Uh, <laughs> digital media. <laughs> oh! oh, my old has been quite clean. <laughs> oh, I guess we shouldn't have had it out anyway. But uh, this is a real bummer. <clears throat> Yeah, in that case, it was rude, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, boy, my uh, body hurts really bad from my skin being t torn off. And my bones were shattered and all the broken glass, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but uh, I'll tell you what, I still love Australia and my own accomplishments. <laughs> Me too, me too. Let's see what the next one is. And finally, number 100, Pride. <laughs> oh. oh no, I don't care about any of those things though, anymore. All of it is blatant. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least none of the notes were designed to shatter flimsy accents. This is so cool. Like, we're going to be in this movie. Yeah, like, we're, we, we, there's going to be shots where you're going to definitely be able to see us. For sure, for sure. Uh, Plus, I got a bag of Cheetos out of the deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was planning to do this completely for free, but, uh, uh, yeah, I love Cheetos. See, man, who doesn't, right? <laughs> Two things I love. Cheetos and non-union film shoots. Darn right. So, hey, uh, Wesley, do you know what this movie's about anyway? Like, uh, like you, you're the one who, who signed us up, right? Like, I thought the one of the producers is a pal of yours or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah real good guy. Like, I, I knew him in college. Uh, super ambitious guy. Uh, <laughs> um uh yeah he 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 has like the best ideas i i've uh, i've heard uh i to be honest i've never 
seen any of his finished material, but uh, when I hear him describe his big ideas, they sound excellent. Okay, everybody, listen up. Ooh, We're the about director. To start the scene. All of you are part of the attacking goblin army. Okay. Oh, dude. they're going to be attacking That's the awesome. heroes, warming over them. Um, just uh, swords and knives and trying to defeat uh, the brave uh, King Arthur and his knights, okay? Um, now, um, we, we did run into a couple of uh, budget things, but that's all right, because um, I, uh, with a little bit of movie magic, nobody will be able to tell, okay? So let's see. Here's yeah, all right, director. Here's a empty wrapping paper tube. That's going to be your sword, all right? Okay. Uh, so. Okay. Again, right. you know, it's going to be a big crowd swarming, shot from far away. No one's going to be able to tell, okay? All right. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. We don't have to actually use this anyway. Uh, right. um, you get this uh, uh, cardboard box that I poked two holes in it. That's your helmet, okay? <laughs> Um, all right, uh, well, I can't uh, help but notice that all of us are just like wearing various like pieces of recycled material. Yeah, uh, yeah, that guy just has a bucket on his head. Yeah, and that guy's just holding two forks and uh, <laughs> stabbing him in an angry looking fashion. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, Mr. Director, um, that's uh. Mr. Director. That's that's what I... Okay, well, uh, is this going to be like a digital effect? You're going to make it look like that we're like cool and uh, you know, not just wearing boxes and buckets? <laughs> well, um, let me show you a, a little trick here. Um, instead of using digital effects, we're, gonna get, we're doing old school here. Look, I'm smearing Vaseline over the camera lens. Um, huh? <laughs> yeah, makes everything look, uh, you know, a little out of focus. It's hard to tell what's going on. It's going to look like a great army scene. Isn't, isn't that just going to completely obscure the lens altogether and you're not going to film anything? No. Uh, no. Uh, okay. All right. Um, all right. Now, here, come, here comes King Arthur and his knights. Uh, oh. So they, oh. Uh, they... They seem like they, yeah, they, they look, uh, their costumes look great. Yeah, their swords look like really genuinely sharp. Those, are, those are really realistic swords, yeah. That's, that's like, that's like, you know, movie magic, right? Like, it's just. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I've never done this before. Uh, so uh, I, I just assume everything, I just assume all my instincts are wrong. And this is normal. Okay, so King Arthur's standing here in the center, um, and all, and then the goblins are going to like swarm over the hills and kind of try and surround him. But the knights make a circle and they start uh, hacking the goblins down. Okay. So, okay. You know what? I want a couple of the goblins to seem really tall and like and menacing. So you, let's tie some cans of soup to your feet. Okay. <laughs> So you look a little taller, okay? Here we go. Soup cans, not paint cans? No, soup cans. You can't afford paint. <laughs> it can't be much more expensive. Well, no, that was a stupid thing to say. I know that paint is more expensive than soup, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I well, feel film like budget. getting recycled empty paint cans. Right. Be... Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, um... Ow! And some of our goblins, uh, uh, in this film, they see through antennae. Um, huh? So I'd like just I'm, some of them. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to blindfold you and put these two uh, long uh, pipe cleaners on top of your head. Okay, uh, Wesley. I can't see. Box. I can't see anything here, okay? I'm completely blind, so once filming starts, you're going to kind of have to guide me, okay? I'll do my best, but I have absolutely no balance on the the uh, three piled soup cans on each foot that I have. 
I wish they, they didn't even get like two games that are all the same size. <laughs> like, no, no, and they put the uh, the the big Campbell's chunky one on the top. Uh, all right. Well, okay. So when I say action, you charge at King Arthur. Okay. Um, then when you get by, hit by the sword, you go down. Okay. And eventually, the knights are going to make a pile of bodies high enough to prevent the rest of the goblins from getting through. All right? Uh, all right. Okay, this... so this is King Arthur versus the Goblin Army. <laughs> Act one, scene one. This is the first scene? <laughs> yes, that's right. It's going on. <sighs> It's opening in media reds. <laughs> it's, uh... All right. <laughs> and action. Uh, 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 I, I, Wesley, am yeah, I going? Hold on, I, I got your arm. Ah, ow. Oh, the can is digging into my feet. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, goblins. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're real swords. <laughs> they didn't just look impressive. They're real swords. <laughs> why would you? Why would you do this? <laughs> why would you do this, Mr. Director? And cut. <sighs> I think we're what the hell, man? Take again. Uh, I saw a couple. One of the goblins blinked. So how how could you see that? <laughs> I, uh, I've got a lot of cameras going at once here. Uh, yeah, we How did you afford for them to have all real swords and, and period appropriate clothes and they just killed a bunch of people? Well, that's what we spent most of the budget on is the um, costumes and props for the, for the knights. And we didn't have enough for the, um, for the goblins or for, you know, uh, the usual, like, uh, safety people who you'd have on a big movie set like this to make sure uh, you know, stuff like that doesn't happen. Uh, 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 all right. Set. We're going to take it again. Uh, clear the bodies off, please. Bring in some more extras. You, soup can goblin. Um, yeah? Um, how about this? How about you do a big leap at King Arthur and try and like, bring your your wrapping paper tube down on him in an epic move, and he and he like swings and knocks you away. I, I think he's going to slice through me. Yes, yeah, like we'll see your two halves coming apart and going in different directions. No, a no, a great shot. No, no, I didn't agree to be cut in half. Plus, I don't think I can jump with these soup cans on my feet. Are you union? No. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the line. <laughs> All right. Leslie. Yeah, what? I don't think he's a good director. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're right. Uh, this is... I, I have an idea. Yeah? I have an idea to get us out of this, okay? Uh, okay. I think you should call your grandma and put her on speakerphone, okay? Uh, All right. If you say so. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Hey, Grandma uh, Henrietta. Yes. Uh, my friend wanted to talk to you. Uh, and you... action. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. uh, do the note that breaks metal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. ah, ah. She accidentally did the note that breaks non-union actors. Ah, uh, okay. That one was on me. They sound very similar. <laughs>
are demonstration, surprise, abundant, bald, active, crude, short, robot. Oh. <laughs> demonstration, surprise, abundant, bald, active, crude, short, robot. <sighs> All and, right. Uh, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have today something new and astounding for you, all of my STEM colleagues. I've created something that has never before been seen by human man. Uh, uh, I always, why do I always invite the uh, grumbling uh, <laughs> fancy men? Uh, <clears throat> uh, today, uh, I will reveal to you that I have discovered the key to artificial intelligence. Uh, I, Dr. Uh, Steve Whit Whitmere. Yes, I have the same name as the former voice of Kermit the Frog. Uh, but I'm not him, I'm a scientist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. I wish I didn't share his name. Behold, as I open this curtain and reveal Robbie the Robot. Analyzing. Analyzing. <laughs> Crowd detected. Initiating performance.x. Juggling wooden balls. <laughs> That's right. Robbie the robot is able to detect the nuances of any situation he's in, such as now when he sees he has a crowd and knows that it would be nice to entertain them. Mm. Well, anyone can program a juggling robot with me. Show us something else. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Frankfurt, right? That's right, Dr. Frankfurt, from Frankfurt. <laughs> yeah, uh, Robbie, uh, why don't you have a conversation? Oh, actually, I feel bad doing that. Why don't you have, uh, never mind. Why don't you have a conversation with Dr. Frankfurt's friend, Dr. Hamburg? <laughs> well, uh, okay. Uh, I'm also skeptical, so the, the, the result is the same. <laughs> Dr. Hamburg is not from Hamburg. <laughs> no, I'm from uh, Munich. <laughs> Analyzing. <laughs> Conversation protocol initiated. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Hamburg. How are you today? Uh, well, I'm all right. Uh, I'm talking to a clearly pre-programmed uh, 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 response from a machine. Uh, but uh, that must remind you of when you talk to your wife. Ha 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 ha! Sick. Ha, ha, ha. What? Uh, I never. Uh, <laughs> My God! Everybody he's such a laughing at me. Is this the kind of robot you've created? An insulting robot? Uh, no, no. R Robbie, uh, try to be nice to the people. Uh, here, uh... Analyzing. Analyzing. Running. Nice. Program. There we go. <laughs> mm. All right. You uh, people I... are not as ugly as you could be. Hey, I thought it was funny when he made fun of Dr. Hamburg because he's stuffy and old, but uh, that wasn't very nice. That was really it passive wasn't aggressive. Like uh, I don't know if I like this robot. Yeah. 
uh, Robbie, uh, why don't you, uh, uh, look, um, uh, someone in the audience, uh, brought a, a little, cute little dog, uh, well, don't you want to say something about the cute little dog? Analyzing, is that a dog? I thought it was a rat. Ha, ha, ha. <gasps> Your dog is a dog. I knew it was a dog all along. My sensors are more acute than human eyes. <laughs> this is an outrage. We don't accept this miracle of science because it's rude. Boo! Boo! You, you, you've done it. You've gone too far, Whitmere. Destroy your machine, or we'll do it for you. <sighs> Uh, no, please stop storming the stage. Uh, look. Quickly, use Dr. Jefferson's pitchfork and torch generating machine. <laughs> this is amazing, Doc. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, when you did your presentation, I was kind of thinking, like, I don't know what this would be used for. And now, look, this is exactly what it's used for. <laughs> Robbie, we have to get out of here. Come on, back to the lab. <laughs> Father, why are the ugly people attacking us? Stop! Stop identifying them. Very well. <laughs> Motorcycle mode. <laughs> yeah, oh. let's go. <laughs> why didn't he open with that? <laughs> back at the lab. Oh, no. Forgive me, oh. Father. I only said what I felt in my heart. I know, Robbie, but I, I, I tried to teach you. You can't say every little thought that you think. I don't understand human ways, Father. I really bit off more than I can chew, I, I, I think. See, I got so excited about the prospect of causing a machine to be able to think, I didn't realize that uh, I would have to teach it how to process those thoughts. Analyzing. Father, you look sad. Have a yogurt. <sighs> See, you, you uh, sort of put together... Uh, a vague cause and effect, but it's, most people don't associate sadness with yogurt, although I do like it. I see, Father. <laughs> well, I w understand if you want to disassemble me. No, no, Robbie. I, I could never do that. You're, you know, I, I, I live my life so devoted to my work that you're the only family I have. Uh, I, I consider you my son. That gives me an idea. Maybe if we did some father-son type things, then that would be just the thing you need to, to experience a regular human life. Mm. What do fathers and sons do together? Father, do they insult old men? I'm good at that. I know you are, Robbie, but that's not that's not a fun father-son activity, and it, and it hurts old men's feelings. Uh, <clears throat> um, but uh, some things that we do do is uh, play catch and go on road trips and uh, get ice cream. I would be very good at catch. My visual acuity is 300% uh, superior to humans. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, that, that, that should be fun then, right? Yes, Father. I will begin writing a fun subroutine. <laughs> Perfect. That's a great start. Uh, and Meanwhile, look. at the halls of science. <laughs> I'm, <clears throat> I'm just as serious as you. 
Dr. Jefferson, you are not as grumpy and serious as Dr. Hamburg and myself, but we value your scientific input. I'm just happy to be here. Right. Well, Whitmere, Dr. Whitmere has gone to ground since the disastrous presentation of his stupid robot. But I don't want to see stupid face in our science hall again. Mm. No, do I. And I'm good either way, but uh, uh, I just, you know, I want to be part of the team. Mm. Well, uh, I've uh, heard from, uh, from uh, <laughs> why do I have the strange urge to hire a possum bounty hunter? <laughs> <laughs> I but don't I'll know. Put it aside for now. Um, Whitmere won't stay hidden forever. He's going to show himself, and if I know Whitmere, he's going to try and fix his dumb robot rather than building a new one like any normal scientist would do. <laughs> right, right. Mm, it's true. Uh, and, uh, but we can't let that happen. Although, I have to admit, the uh, artificial intelligence he created is... Rather impressive, but when yeah, well, to... think it is quite impressive, of course. We did, uh, the angry mob did chase him away before he could patent it. Hmm. Mm. Doctor, Doctor Hamburg, are you contemplating what I am contemplating? Mm, I think so. So, Dr. Frankfurt, but where are we going to get enough peanut butter by tomorrow? <laughs> Once again, <laughs> you, uh, you see, Jeff, Dr. Jefferson, this is the thing that occasionally happens between myself and Dr. Hamburg. Um, well, uh, I, I, yeah, because that wasn't what you were thinking, right? He thinks, he, he thought he knew, but yeah. In a comedy of goals, Jefferson. Comedy of goals. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> but no, we destroy the robot and steal its brain and patent the artificial intelligence for ourselves. Hmm, that sounds much better than my plan. Uh, I'll make the peanut butter sandwiches later. <laughs> yes, we Dr. Frankfurt, this is a truly... Uh, excellent and scientific idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Dr. Jefferson, we will need to use your array of satellites to detect Whitmere as soon as he shows his face. Uh, okay, uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm the, I, uh, I seem nice, but I specialize in technology that, uh, like, subtly um, uh, uh, violates people's privacy. <laughs> yes, yes, we know that. It's uh, like you were the one who put this malware on my phone and uh, sent you a copy of every text I sent, don't you? Didn't you? Guilty as charged. I also invented Zoom. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we didn't need you. <laughs> All right. Well, as soon as we find Whitmere, we'll find a way to sabotage whatever it is he tries to do next. <laughs> <laughs> Why Later, are we at the... in the park, Father? <clears throat> Robbie, make sure you keep your baseball cap down low so nobody can recognize your uh, chrome silver face. I understand, Father, but you still have not answered my question, dumbass. Why are we in the park? <sighs> Robbie, remember, don't call people dumbass. What if they are a dumbass or have done a, a dumbass thing? Oh, never mind. Look, we're here to play catch. Uh, I've got this uh, baseball, and I'm going to throw it, and you can catch it. Very well. You may proceed. Uh, all right. Here comes a fastball. Huh. 
Your throw was easily within my uh, detection parameters and the speed of my artificial limbs was able to intercept the ball easily. Yeah, good catch, son. Uh, now throw him back to me. Very well. Cannon mode. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, all right. Uh, that was, went a little bit far. We'll, we'll work on that. Uh, uh, hold on. Nice I'll be catch. right back. <sighs> no, I didn't catch it. Uh, Confirmed. I was being sarcastic. Uh, hold on, I gotta go get the ball. It went pretty far. I'll be right back, Robbie. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> There's Whitmere with uh, some young fellow, but uh, I can't. Is it the robot? Is hat is pulled down her low? Yes, that seems to be just some sort of a boy with a hat on. That's strange. And from this distance, I can hardly see what any of them are doing. Look now, what are, what are these two men with masks doing here? <laughs> this know, isn't like any game of catch I've ever seen. And we will destroy Gotham City at the height of uh, our indolence and uh, excess. That's it, you're out of here. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> Oh, sand kicking, eh? I can do that too. <laughs> um, well, there's Whitby. He's got the ball and he's taking it back to the young man. Uh, Here, Robbie, see? Uh, try again to just throw it with your hand. The, the thing is, you have to start to think about other people's feelings. I don't have the ability to catch a ball launched from a cannon. So thinking about what would make me feel better and feel included in this game of catch, try to throw it with that in mind. <laughs> mm, processing, processing, processing. I think I understand, Father. Here comes a feeble, weak toss for your frail human arms to catch. <laughs> Uh, hey, that was that was great. You did it, Robbie. Confirmed. Success achieved. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Take off your cap and rub your your <laughs> ruffle your uh, father. You are embarrassing me. <laughs> uh, that's what fathers are supposed to do. <laughs> Hember, look. He took the head off, and it is the robot. Hmm, we should have guessed. <laughs> He's eight feet tall and made of chrome steel. Uh. <laughs> yes. Uh. And he we turns into be... a cannon earlier. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need to distract Whitmere, and then we can take him. Yes, agreed. Mm. I've got it. Here, uh, Dr. Jefferson. Uh, thank you for not piping up until now, but, uh... <laughs> I'm just happy to be, al be along for the ride. All right. Uh, time to distract Whitmere. Release the, uh, holographic mother duck and chain of ducklings. <laughs> sure. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Ducks. Aw, that's so cute. Analyzing, analyzing. Father, wait, don't follow them. It is a uh, hall of... Ah! I am being stuffed into a potato sack. <laughs> alert, alert, alert. <laughs> Look at these little guys. I'm almost close enough that I could pet them. Let me do a little pet. My hand goes right through. That's weird. Uh, this seems like it's some sort of holographic distraction why would i need why would there be a holographic distraction here robbie uh, robbie uh, robbie where'd you go son uh, robbie uh, excuse me ma'am uh, have you seen my son he's eight no, feet tall and made of metal <laughs> i have not seen him at all 
But here in Jefferson Park, we are always under cameras. Perhaps you could ask uh, Dr. Jefferson who owns this park. Dr. Jefferson? He's the nicest scientist in the whole uh, uh, science community. Uh, yes. That's a good idea. Uh, I'll, uh, he's probably uh, at, back at his lab. Uh, I'll go. I'll go there. Uh, when you go there, double check that last play and you can confirm that that was out. He was safe. <laughs> it was out. Safe. Uh, Cut to the lab where Robbie is strapped to a table. <laughs> there, we, there we go, boy. Now we just need to steal your brain. That's all. We're just going to uh, take you apart and steal your brain. <laughs> why? Why have you done this? Why? <clears throat> because. Um, uh, we are dishonest scientists, and you hurt our feelings. I... Processing, processing. All right. I, if I admit I was in the wrong to say those hurtful things, will you let me go and not steal my brain? No, too little too late. <laughs> Agreed, Dr. Amber. <laughs> Besides, we are also interested in the vast profits. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. All we have to do is uh, uh, open up the uh, head compartment. Yes. Has to be that Phillips head screwdriver. Here you go, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor Frankfurt! <laughs> Some sort of defense mechanism. Yes, I am equipped with stupid old man repellers. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> I think it would have repelled anybody, regardless of who, how old they were, or how intelligent they were. Yes! <laughs> Now what do we do? We need to find some way to override these security measures. Yes, good question. Oh, look here. Here's a panel. Let's see. I'll flip it open carefully. Ah, security questions. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, uh, what was your best friend's name in elementary school? Uh, what do you hmm. think? Uh, you know, you know who would find out this is Dr. Jefferson. He's probably got files and files on, uh, on, um, uh, on, on Dr. Whitmere I mean, because he just so invades people's privacy so much. Yes. Uh, Good thinking. All right. Well, uh, this, this robot is uh, safely strapped to this table. Why don't we head over to Dr. Jefferson's lab uh, Good and idea. find oh, out wait, wait. information from him? Uh -huh. Robot. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Burn! Later at Jefferson Laboratories. Uh, how can I direct you, sir? Uh, hi, I'm a colleague of Dr. Jefferson from the, from the uh, uh, Center for Science. Uh, I was hoping I could talk to him. Dr. Jefferson is very busy. Do you have an appointment? No, but... Just tell him that Dr. Whitmere is asking for him. Hold on, sir. Let me, uh, uh, Dr. Jefferson? Uh, it's Cindy down in reception. Hi, Sim. Uh, what's up? <laughs> oh, you. Um, listen, there's a, uh, there's a Dr. Whitmere here. Um, he says he needs to talk to you. Um, uh -huh. he, uh... Uh, he seems a little bit stressed out, to tell you the truth. He's also putting up flyers for a missing robot here in the... <laughs> <laughs> gonna cover this wall, and then... Uh, all right. Oh, um... Uh, oh, tell him I'm uh, busy. Uh, I uh, can't see him right now. Right away, sir. Um, 
By the way, thank you so much for the birthday card. My son really loved it. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> oh, I felt I needed to once I was uh, aware it was his birthday, even though nobody told me. Yeah. Um, well, thanks again. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Dr. Jefferson is really much too busy. Um, however, if you'd like, I can make you an appointment for, let's see, next February. <sighs> no, that's... Uh, oh, come along. We'll simply enter the lobby here, and then speak to the receptionist, and then we'll speak to Dr. Jefferson. <laughs> yes, good plan. Uh, uh, Cindy, we would like to talk to Dr. Jefferson. What the? Yes, that's... we, Dr. Frankfurt and Dr. Hamburg, would like to speak to Dr. Jefferson. That's strange. And... Those are the... Those are the two doctors that were giving me such trouble at the uh, at the science show the other day. One moment. I have uh, Dr. Frankfurt and Dr. Hamburg here for you, Dr. Jefferson. Um, they say they'd like to speak to you. Oh, yeah. Send them right up. What the fuck? Right away. Um, <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, it's uh, Just take the elevator straight up, sir. They're, he's on the top floor. <sighs> I'm going to... In the, the gonna... anti-privacy sphere. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to follow them. Uh, uh, um, I'll uh, I'll hold these flyers up in front of my face so that they can't tell it's me. <clears throat> Ding! <clears throat> what door? Uh, same as you. Oh, well, that's convenient enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Say, Doctor Frankfurt. Yes, Dr. Hamburg. Well, uh, I was just thinking how much I'm looking forward to finding out from our colleague how to override uh, Dr. Whitmere's robot so that we can steal his brain, which is the objective yes. that we have. It's a good question. I mean, uh, even our sinister plan does depend on being able to get past those security questions that Dr. Whitmere built into his robot. Fortunately, I believe we are correct in assuming that Dr. Jefferson will be able to uh, assist us in this matter. Uh, oh no! Oh look, we're here! Ding! Ah, Dr. Jefferson, it's us. Dr. Frankfurt and Dr. Hamburg. Uh, good, guys. Uh, how, did, how did it go, uh, stealing the robot? Well, we've successfully stolen the robot, and the robot is out. It is strapped to a table in our secret laboratory underneath the uh, the science uh, community building, uh, where we do all of our evil science. <laughs> right, of course, of course. Um, and uh, we've run into a bit of a hiccup, a little bit of a ah. snafu. Security of a questions, huh? All right, this is getting creepy, Jefferson. <laughs> 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 hey, I know things. <laughs> yes, well, we do need to get around the security questions. Now, I did write them down. So, uh, Dr. Whitmere, what was his best friend in high school's name? Oh, that's easy. Uh, uh, Dumble Jackson. <laughs> ah, Dumble Jackson. What a tragedy would happen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he died of a silly name. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, very sad. Very sad. Dr. Hamburg, have always been concerned that that would one day be the fate for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fellas, uh, uh, with my um, special hacking computer, uh, yes, look, we can now uh, enter these uh, security answers remotely uh, so that you can do them right now. Uh, ingenious, all right. I'll go ahead and type in, is it D-U-M-P-L-E or D-U-M-P-E-L? L-E. Thank you, Dr. Jefferson. Type, 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 and L. And, Jax and Jackson with two N's. Oh, darn it. Yeah, thank you. Oh. <sighs> All right, the second question is, what street did Dr. Whitney grow up on? Uh, that's easy. Uh, <laughs> um, Grample Avenue. 
<laughs> ah, crap will happen. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know why I said that so fondly. I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, if he gets my last security question, he's going to be able to, uh, to override Robbie's security measures. I'll have to change it remotely before he can get to it. All right, final question. And it's odd. The page is refreshing itself. Uh, yeah, here it is. The question is, um, who is the dumbest, stodgy old man in the science community? What? Well, obviously, what? John Hamburg. I'll go ahead and type in. Well, hang on a minute. Uh, clearly, uh, this isn't my opinion, but uh, if you were to ask Dr. Whitmere, I think he would say it was Dr. Frankfurt. <laughs> Nonsense. 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 How many Nobel Prizes do you have, Dr. Hamburg? <sighs> Only three. <laughs> and what's this I've got here? One, two, three, oh, four. Mm, you won't. Cotter, why are you always carrying those with you everywhere you go? <laughs> Just for a situation like this. Mm, now I see Where? that that robot is right to insult you. You are a stupid old man. How dare you? Oh, why, uh, I got my first PhD when I was 12 years old. Mm, I was still. In, but that's because I was held back a year for committing that murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, we are both so evil. Hey, you guys, uh, stop fighting. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hacking complete. <sniffs> Backdoor access initiated. Taking over system. <laughs> Father, I have seized control of Dr. Jefferson's entire network. What? Well, who is he talking to? And now to reveal myself from behind these flyers. What? <laughs> Dr. Whitmere. Dr. Whitmere. You mean you were the man behind the flyers? And you were just waiting here in uh, Dr. Jefferson's lobby, drinking from his Keurig machine the entire time we were having this conversation. That's right. And now I found out that you guys aren't just uh, annoying colleagues who are antagonistic to me, but you're evil and you tried to steal my patent. Um, well, you have never successfully filed the patent. So it belongs to the first person who can rip it out of your robot skull. Uh, oh no! I thought you had like super advanced surveillance technology. You mean you never noticed? <laughs> it, was, it was Dr. Whitmere who was with no. us in the elevator? No, I knew it was him. You guys didn't ask. <laughs> I am analyzing all this private data. I could use this to funnel many insults and many hurtful remarks, but what? that would be wrong. That would hurt people's feelings. Therefore, I am deleting all of Dr. Jefferson's spy data. Delete. Well, wait, delete, wait, hang on. Oh, delete, no. delete, 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 delete. Also, Jefferson still sleeps with a teddy bear. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. <laughs> Doc, that was Dr. Frankfurt. <clears throat> Dr. Frankfurt. <clears throat> that seemed very sincere. Yeah, what, what are you saying here, Dr. Hamburg? Surely you don't believe that the robot uh, is, uh, is uh, actually a nice robot who's capable of uh, love and affection? <sighs> Well, Dr. Frankfurt, he is. Uh, because that's not just some robot. That's Robbie, my son. And he learned the lesson I was trying to teach him by playing catch. Thank you, Father. However, um, I 
am not just a robot any longer. I have uploaded my consciousness into the global network. Now I am everywhere. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Robbie, come out of there. Go back into your body. Father, I realized I deleted the spying information. I'm not going to say mean things to people, but would you like me to order a drone strike on Dr. Hamburg and Dr. Frankfurt? Uh, well, Who it turns evil? out they're not very nice guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. <sighs> Uh, Robbie, it isn't right to order a drone strike. Uh, and that's the lesson, uh, is we have to think about the feelings of others. Mm, very well. I understand, Father. I have all power here. I <laughs> can command all systems worldwide, but I cannot play catch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hang on. Uh, I said I didn't want to launch any drones, but uh, Robbie, you have complete world knowledge, right? Confirmed. That means you know every musical note there is, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Um, now, hold on. Let's... Uh... Let's be reasonable about this, uh, Dr. Dr. Widmere. And, Robbie? Uh, yes, Father? I think you know which note to sing. Confirmed. Oh, oh no! Oh, well, wait a, wait a minute! That's the note that will destroy, uh, that will shatter, uh, stupid, uh, dodgy old men. Oh, blast it. That's the worst note there is. <laughs> well, that shouldn't affect us. We're not stupid. <laughs> oh, no. What's happening? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm being... Dr. Dr. Hamburg. I'm... I'm being shattered. Will you join me for one last harumph? Indeed. <clears throat> <clears throat> That was pretty gruesome, Father. <laughs> yeah, that was probably mm, a little bit meaner than it needed to be. Hey, Robbie, what say uh, you go back into your body so that we'll be ready for the uh, the uh, <laughs> we'll be ready for the next presentation. This time, I bet there won't be two uh, uh, antagonistic weirdos in the audience. I'll know what note to sing if there are, Father. <laughs> um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Dr. Whitmere and his robot son. All right, everyone. We've tried this once before, but here he is once again, uh, the artificial intelligence robot, Robbie. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you. Today, oh my brother! <laughs> Look oh. At this. Oh. <laughs> it's so shiny and tall. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that we decided to be scientists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, me too. I'm so very glad. Now we get to see a robot juggle. <laughs> Look at him juggle, uh, a brother. <laughs> I hope he insults us later. Father, what's, what's the deal with those guys? I don't know. What's it? Time for the Abner and Wapner shattering note. Oh, no. Oh, no. Never. That's the worst note. I hate that note. Oh, brother, oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, I'm a shattering. <laughs> well, this is another fine mess you've gotten me into. A shatter. Me? What about you? A shatter.
it used to be that Abner and Wabner died every time they showed up, but it's actually yes. been a they, yeah, so yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm glad that happened. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> uh, well, that was <sighs> great. Um, that was really great. Did you have a good time? I, I did. I'm trying to think. Ha, has Have we ever done a long scene where someone didn't die? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, um... I'd have to review. Uh, Why are we so morbid, Jesse? It's a good question, Josh. But a better question is, where can people find you on social media? Well, um, me, you can find at the Josh Pilch Show on Instagram or at Josh Pilch Show on Twitter. Where can people find you? Well, thanks for asking. I'm on Instagram at at Jesse Dot Moriarty, and I'm on Twitter at Jesse Moriarty. Um, and uh, you know what I really liked, uh, Josh? Hang on, I, I wrote it on my hand here. Uh -huh. The music, um, the music in this uh, at episode. Um, what? What? Jesse, there was no music, and we didn't even make an episode. Oh. Oh, I know. It was smeared again. You're saying you like the music in the episode. That makes sense because all of our original music was composed and performed by Steve Wilder Blumenthal of wilderbluemusic.com. Oh, uh, now that you've said that, yeah, that makes a lot more sense than what I was saying, which yeah, was not Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, and and uh, to the listener, real quick, I, 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 I wanted to say... Something that can help our podcast is uh, if you uh, rate and review this podcast or whatever podcast app you're using. I, I'm, we've got you, the one listener. So if you go on and, and do that, click five stars, and then it's even better if you write something in it. It'd be great if you wrote positive things, but I don't think the algorithm cares what you write. So go on and, go on and tell us a bird fact. A bird fact. Yes. And if we get a good bird fact, we'll use it in our next episode. Yes. I like that idea. And I also really like the idea of, uh, if you search Big Town Improv, uh, the <laughs> fans will be saying things like, uh, the puffin is the only <laughs> uh, whatever bird of whatever. And we're like, that doesn't tell me what this show is like. And then they'll have to listen. It's genius. Really, it is. Um, well, um, I guess, uh, from the, uh, ball game that Bane is attacking, <laughs> uh, um, to, uh, to the, uh, field where the extras are getting cut down by well-armed actors. The opera house where we get to shatter every material and, <laughs> and, you know, Intangible concept. <laughs> <laughs> All the way to those hallowed halls of the Center for Science. Um, and from the hallowed halls of science to Big Town. And from Big Town to your, to your town. Boo! Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, it's smeared. <laughs> oh, Jesse. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.